Growing your sales is so easy when you have a clear and a simple plan. Growing those promotional sales has two com key components. Your first key component is identifying your opportunities through surface hair. What assets and what resources can we help provide for you that you can utilize to make your plan? Social media is your second key component that has all of the resources and opportunities that connect back to your plan. If you're not familiar with our Surface Advocate program, you can find our Surface Advocate program on vimeohair.com slash surface hair. The Advocate program gives you the opportunity to create your plan in advance. Also to see what's new, what's coming, what are the new launches, and incorporate new services and opportunities every single quarter. So you're never left in the dark. You never have to wonder what is Surface coming out with next. The Advocate program covers four things. Number one, technical skills. So we learn different opportunities for us as hairdressers or our salon team members on, let's say, a fall balayage technique or a summer blonding technique. We also cover business, just like we are today. We give you hot tips to easily help you grow your retail and your services together, as well as treatments as our third. We cover all the new treatments and how we can incorporate. And last but not least, how do you tie that into a promotion? So if you are a salon owner or if you're a single chair operator out there, please make sure to familiarize yourself with our advocate program. Our next resource is our monthly salon game plan. This is emailed out to you through constant contact, but you can also find it right on surfacehair.com. You can see on the, the right side of the screen where it says monthly game plan. If you click on that tab, it's gonna pop open that current month's plan. That's gonna be more of a version for you to show what's happening during that month and dissect it a little bit more with product knowledge. Now, I love this tool as a salon business owner because I can use this as my monthly email blast to my guests. You can also use this to help you run staff meetings or if you're in a school setting, you can do this for like a monthly huddle in the school. So the game plan is a huge opportunity for us. Now we look at the other resources we have to help you grow your business. And I have the honor today to share with you our new opportunities for January through June of 2021. So you're probably all excited to jump off here and, and learn about this, but your number one resource is called the Salon Success Planner. If you are a school out there listening, we have a school success planner. And inside of this planner, it's gonna give you so many great things to help you run your business. One of my favorites is our visual salon roadmap. As a hairdresser myself, I am so visual. I want to know everything that's happening, but I need pictures. And so the visual roadmap gives you a guide from month to month. And we're going to dive deeper into this and what's launching here in a minute. But not only does it lay out promotions, it gives you options and opportunities on when to do your, your staff meetings, when to do certifications, and when to tune into the advocate program, as well as a buying guide. Now our six months of planning is right at your fingertips inside of this guide. And these are, this is a screenshot right from the guide that's actually on surfacehair.com right now. So it's gonna lay out promotion by promotion of what's coming and it's gonna give you some ideas on how to promote it. We have new innovation coming soon. I wanna hear a big drum roll across Canada and the United States. Can I hear you? Let me get close to the camera. Yes, I can hear you. New innovation coming soon. We have our new Warm Gold series launching in February, the 8WG, 6WG, and 4WG. Coming in March, we have our new memory foam, and we have our new blowout finishing spray, which if you did get a swag box for this uh, show today, it was inside, and I can't wait to hear your feedback from that. Also launching in May is our dry shampoo mousse. So Wayne's going to take you through product knowledge later on this, but again, such a great opportunity to showcase. So taking a look at just January and February, this is going to lay out on top, you'll see where it says new. So new, it's going to show you what we just discussed, the new pure color launching in the warm gold series. 
your retail promotions are underneath that. Those are just screenshots of visual flyers we have that you can actually print or take an edit and post on your social media or in salon. So as you can see in Gen Feb, we'll have a focus on Awaken, Char, Leaders, and our Awaken box set. Now what connects the dots and what you've heard today with Wayne sharing treatments is that Awaken Scalp Facial Treatment is gonna help you promote insulin services to help you sell through your retail. Going into March and April, as we discuss the new blowout foam and the new blowout finishing spray, our retail focus to, to promote during that time is your blowout campaign. We'll also have Violet and Rose as a mix and match duo. What a great time as all of our fall winter hair colors going back blonde. We'll have a, a very large uh, awareness for our Arbor Day campaign. And as a reminder, every Basu oil that is sold, we plant one tree to the Arbor Day Foundation. So that's gonna be a great insulin and in-school campaign for us for this year. Our men's line is coming for a mix and match duo as well. The service that will help connect the dots behind the chair is our Violet Nourishing Deep Treatment. So an, an excellent add-on for during that time. And lastly, May and June, we have the new dry shampoo mousse coming, which is so exciting. Our retail campaign is all about curly hair and textured hair. So we'll have a mix and match on curls. We'll have our box sets as well as a volume and shine campaign. Below that, you'll see the, the service for connecting the dots is our color clarity treatment that rebonds and rebuilds that hair back together. An amazing treatment for curly hair. Now, taking a, a deeper dive into January is we look at the Awaken promotion. So right now is a great time to start prepping our guests and asking the question right now, did you know that between the months of November and March, your hair sheds 30% faster? If you can plant those seeds now and you can start sampling now for your future, your Awaken promotion will be a huge success. So looking inside of the Awaken promotion, this is an intro kit that is available all throughout the months of January and February. So the Awaken kit, as you can see in front of you, it has 28 retail items inside. It gets you your back bar as well. So you get a liter of shampoo and conditioner and Awaken. You get a mask and you get your elixir and treatment that will help you do your scalp facials, as you remember on the roadmap, to help sell through. The foil packets are a uh, sampling that you can utilize to help spread the word about Awaken or cross promote with a nice seller in the salon. Now your Awaken merch kit is beautiful and I have a picture to share with you guys that the Awaken kit comes with a brand new merch kit for 2021. You get three mirror clings, which the mirror cling shares the question I just asked you is, did you know between the months of November and March, your hair sheds faster? The Awaken poster so that you can uh, put that on your wall or on your window or your mirrors or whatnot to, to showcase what's happening. A window decal that can go right on your front door. Two Awaken shelf talkers to dress your table with and Awaken a pack of treatment cards, Awaken easels, our World Vision tent card, and 25 Awaken books. So an awesome way for you guys to set up a huge campaign in salon. Now, when we're goal setting, no matter if you're one chair or you're 25 chairs, goal setting is so important. As Lindsay and, and Kelly shared with you earlier is every week, every day, they're looking at what their goals are. Are you aware of your opportunities? Now, the buying guide is in red. I want you guys to notice that when we look at open stock, which open stock means one single item, we recommend for open stock that we set a goal of six open stocker units, as we call them, per stylist. The box set, or if we're looking at an intro offer like the Awaken, is for a box set, let's say the Awaken box set, we recommend three per stylist. The intro kit that we just shared with you, we recommend one intro kit for every two stylists. Below that is a reminder of your rewards program here at Surface. At an origins, core, and culture level, you receive one, two, or three points per dollar depending on your buying level. That is gonna help you fund education, it's gonna help you fund your back bar, and it's gonna help you grow your business. 
So goal setting isn't just to get to buy more, it's to help you grow as a stylist and a business owner. So let's look at the Awaken intro in January. So we recommend one Awaken intro uh, for every two stylists. So remember when we said that intro has 28 selling units inside. Well, let's say we'll just use lemonade math today. Let's say you have five stylists. So if we take five stylists, and remember two intros, that gives us 56 units or 56 bottles of Awaken to sell through. And if we take that 56 units and we divide that by your team of five stylists, that's only 11 units to sell each over a month period of time, over 30 days. Now, if you look at those units and say those 11 units as one stylist, and you take that divided by your four weeks, that's only three units per week per stylist. Your goal setting is easily achievable if you break it down in the right way. So let's look at a single launch or a uh, one, two product launch like our new blowout coming in March. So if we have six units per stylist and we have five stylists, that means we need six finishing spray and six blow up memory foam each for each stylist. So that gives us a total of 30 units each or 60 units total. Okay, so we have 60 units. Now, if we take that 60 bottles and we divide that by our stylists of five, that's only 12 units each. Now, if we take 12 units and divide that by four weeks, that's only three units per week. So easily achievable. And again, your goal setting to help you reach those goals, to help fund your back bar, to fund your education bank or whatnot and to help you grow your business. The Awaken promotion is for all salons, no matter if you're in a suite situation or if you're in a multiple stylist salon. So as you can see on the screen, it's gonna share with you a great visual of how you can set up your Awaken promotion, whether uh, you're in a, a suite salon or if you're in a large salon. And to connect the dots is social media. As you'll see on the screen to the right, where it says monthly game plan, highlighted in red. That is where you're going to find social media assets to help you connect those dots to communicate effectively. Now, how do we take our posts and how do we turn them into profit? Well, let's dive deep. The first thing we need to identify is why you are not posting. Why don't you post? And I actually have been asking this question since I learned what I was presenting today. And I've asked many of you guys listening, why don't you post? And the number one reason, and in fact, this is what you wrote in online on our survey, is you don't have time. I'm here to share with you, you have time. You just need to find and make the time. I post every single chance I can get. I pre-schedule all of my posts. And what I'm gonna share with you today in the next few minutes is how you can easily do that. Number two is my clients aren't on social media. Huge mistake. Please look at this with a beginner's mindset. I'm here to share that there are over uh, billions of people on, on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, you just may not know and you may not be connecting the dots internally that they actually are on social media. Don't assume. And number three that you guys wrote in is that you don't understand where to start or even what to post. So let's look at this. I have a huge newsflash for you. There's been a massive rise in social media sales. In fact, 74% of consumers so I'm gonna repeat that, 74% of consumers say they rely on social media information to help them in future purchases. Additionally, 49% of consumers are more likely to purchase a product from you after learning it about it on social media, and that's by Planoly.com, 49%. If we have great satisfaction in Salon with helping serve our guests with customer loyalty, that really leads us to 99% of your sales should be in Salon because you've given them the great service, you've given them great support, you've rewarded them, and you are delivering satisfaction to your guests. But there are reasons why guests don't buy. 
and there are reasons why guests buy from you. So number one reason that guests buy from you is stylist personal belief and recommendation. If you as a stylist love a product, you're more likely to recommend it to your guest in your chair. Also your view of selling. Number two is that they saw you post on social media. So remember 49% of people are influenced to buy because you post it. So if you're not posting on social media and they're seeing it somewhere else, you gotta get the drift. Number three, guests buy from who they like and who they are loyal to, just what we spoke about there. And number four is a salon that has an enticing retail display that's fully stocked and is fully in business. You guys are ready to sell. You look like you're in business. Now, there are three reasons why we don't buy. Number one is the stylist didn't recommend it and they didn't even talk about it during the service and your guests are not even aware. They're not aware of it, okay? So this goes back to what Lindsay and Kelly shared with you, is that they just made it aware and they did 118 treatments. What if every stylist, every student sat behind the chair and did that product recommendation form? Instead of talking about what we did last weekend or what we're gonna do next weekend, let's talk about the why and let's talk about recommending. Number two is low inventory. The enticing, the retail display wasn't there. Nobody wants to buy the last banana in the banana bucket at the grocery store. And nobody wants to buy that lonely bottle of push powder on your shelf. Let's be real. We don't want to do that because why? We don't trust it. So if you don't have a nice display, we're not going to buy. And lastly, what we've discussed is there are other media outlets. There are other people in your town that are promoting product on social media and services. So if you're late to the game, we have to look at ourselves and go, why? COVID has changed our purchases and our retail behavior in so many ways. Number one, grocery store pickup. I don't know about you, but I do all grocery store pickup just from my baker's app. So I order right online, I pay and I drive up, I call a phone number and they bring it to my car. Number two is curbside pickup at restaurants, salons, and spas. So again, using that same concept, but they can call you and do curbside pickup. Here in Omaha, Nebraska, they're doing alcohol deliveries to houses. They've adapted their way to sell alcohol. And number four is at-home pampering kits for skin and for hair care. Many of us are doing that out there. If you haven't got on that bandwagon, now's the time. It's perfect. We're getting into the holiday. And we must be in reality. While our guests prefer to purchase face-to-face, -face, they have become more comfortable with shopping online. So we really need to admit and to, to take that um, and run with it and either be proactive or you can be reactive with that mentality. There are six streams of income for a beauty professional. Number one, behind the chair services. Number two is your retail sales. Number three is cross partnerships with other local businesses. Number four is your website and online retailing. Number five is email marketing. And number six, social media. If you've gotten to this point in our call today and you haven't realized that social media is an outlet for sales, I need you to write that really big on your piece of paper. Now, when you look at social media, this is the tunnel to the profit, right? Is we need to cultivate our leads. So whether that's coming from YouTube, from Twitter, from Facebook, Instagram, whatever you're using, we need to cultivate those leads. And once we cultivate those leads, they become somewhat of a guest lead, right? And depending on how you're promoting it is gonna turn it into a true lead and they're going to take that parachute and they're going to jump right down the tunnel and how we promote that product online is going to create a sale and again when that sale happens is when you become profitable it's when you start to create that extra income now being where you're at on social media and how can we communicate effectively is so important do you know where your guests are at have you asked them have you considered yourself that you're a micro influencer? Have you thought about turning your best guests into your own brand ambassadors? 
And do you know how to share generated content from Surface? So example, being where your guests are on social media, don't assume we need to ask them. Don't assume they're not. And I know you guys are watching out there, Pemberley's, uh, and we did this a, uh, in Pemberley's Hair Design here in Omaha, Nebraska. We put up this little logo that went on every single station. And it said, like us on social, Facebook and Instagram, get entered to win a blowout box set. Now, what we learned was we did have a lot of guests on social media. In fact, this is a screenshot from our analytics. 200% increase just by making your people aware that you're on social media, 200% increase. Now, Pemberley's gave me access to social media to, to track this. And I can't tell you, as soon as we put that post up, like after like after like after like, so if you haven't done so, please help direct and ask where they're at. And again, please ask yourself this question. Do you consider yourself to be an influencer? Am I an influencer? And the answer is yes. You have the ability to influence your own community. Your community is looking up to you to provide that product recommendation, the retail and the service. So when you can really connect the dots to communicate on social media, it's huge. You're probably wondering, well, what the heck is this, this micro influencer Lindsay keeps talking about? And a micro influencer is an individual who has a follower count between one and 2000. That's gonna be the majority of people on our call today. And you have a specific social media channel that you network on and you create content around that certain topic or niche, product or market. The benefits of being a micro influencer are that you're relatable, you're trustworthy and you provide the loyalty and your guests provide that loyalty back to you. So we are now a micro influencer and I wanna share with you a great post um, that Heidi Duff did um, in Connecticut. And I know Heidi, you're listening out there and thank you for so much uh, for posting this. And I wanna share how word of mouth spreads so quickly on social media and how can you get to the funnel of these 100 posts you see on the right side of your screen? How do you get there? Well, there's some common things that I see that are awesome and some that we could improve on. Uh, one of the things that I love that Heidi does is when she posts, it's always a great post. And she posted this picture, it's a before and after of Awaken. And when I saw this, I was like, this is such a perfect example because this is something that speaks to so many people. It's a problem in our industry we can solve as a hairdresser. So when we post this post, we want to make sure to tag 10 of your guests in that post. And when you can tag 10 people in it, that means they're going to like, they're going to comment, and they possibly will share that post. So if we can tag our people from the beginning in the comments, or if you're on Instagram, tag them in the picture, you're going to start cultivating conversation. And that conversation is going to create an algorithm that's going to be posting, hopefully, on 100 different pages. And that's how you're going to create what we call critical mass. You're going to spread the word quickly. So please make sure if you are posting, post and tag your friends in the post. It's huge. Creating your own social media team that are your own guests is the, the new way of a referral program. So back in the day when I first started doing hair, I had this card that I would go around the old market in Omaha and I would hand it out to every local business and I would, I would recommend that they would come in and if they recommended somebody to me from them, that I would give them X percentage or a free treatment. Well, now are the days of, of that. It's still a great practice. We still need to do that. But I want you guys to think that your, your social media is that new referral card. And if you haven't thought about it yet, choosing three guests to be your social media team will be huge. Ask them to post and tag. And when they tag, they're gonna tag their friends. And if they do that and they do refer a friend, then they maybe they get a free treatment or whatnot. So please utilize social media to create your own social media team to help you grow your business. So here's how easy it is. 
We've learned about the promotions. We've learned a little bit about social media. How do you share that information? We talked about sharing user-generated content. And user-generated content, my friends, this is the Repost app. If you haven't downloaded it yet, please download Repost for Instagram. And this is how quick and easy it is. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step tutorial. So number one, let's say uh, Instagram. Okay, so we're gonna open up an Instagram page that we love. So let's say you go to surfacehair.com, you know, surface hair health, and you're gonna find a picture on surface hair that you like. And let's say it's this blowout picture. So on top, you'll see in red, I highlighted those three little dots. You're gonna click on that, the three little dots, and this screen will pop up. So once the screen pops up, you're gonna hit copy link. So that's so easy so far. So you copy that link, and then you're gonna close out of your app on Instagram, and you're gonna hit the repost app. So you go back and you're gonna click on that, and it's gonna take you to your feed on repost. And it's gonna list every single posting that you've liked. You're gonna click on the one that you want to share. So going back to the blow up post, you're gonna click that, and then the screen is gonna pop up. You hit repost, and then you hit copy caption and share. Okay, so you copied that. Once you click that button, it's gonna take you to Instagram. It automatically pulls open your page for you. And at this point, you can choose to post on your stories or you can post on your feed. So let's say we wanted to do it on our stories. Stories last 24 hours on Instagram unless you're tagging and pinning them to your highlight reel. Otherwise, they're gonna be gone in 24 hours. So if you have a really great post, let's post it on our feed so it stays there permanently. So if I did click that button that said feed and I hit paste, remember that caption that we had, that is automatically gonna paste in the description for you. So once you hit okay, it posts on your feed. So six easy steps to help you post user-generated content. And user-generated content means content that's already been created for you. So you don't have to download anything, upload anything. It's seriously easy. I do it all the time when I'm at the gym. I know you guys work out, so you can do it too. All right, so connecting the dots. How do you take the plan and that written plan that you created with your roadmap and connect it to social media? To recap, we have the repost and user-generated content, and then we have a super fantastic um, app and website that you can utilize called Planoly. If you have not downloaded or heard of Planoly yet, I highly encourage you to do it because you can pre-schedule your posts on social media from 30 to 90 days in advance. Their website is www.planoly.com. And once you download that, you can easily pre-plan your schedule for not only Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, but also Twitter. You can pre-schedule a full calendar of stories. And what's so cool about that is stories take up a lot of time. So pre-scheduling those um, is, is huge. You can also analyze data so that you can see what time is best to post. You can see what engagement you're getting behind the scenes. And what's great is you can do it from your phone or you can do it from your laptop. Planoly gives you the ability to pre-schedule your posts, like I said, 30 up to 30 posts per month, per month free. You can link your online shopping cart to Planoly as well. So here is an example of my personal Planoly account. And as you can see, this is what we call the dashboard. And on the dashboard on the left side of the screen, I have all of my posts that I've uploaded. And on the right side, you can see a visual layout of what time it's going to post. And it actually, I just love this, puts a picture there. Um, again, being a hairdresser, I need to see it visually. And it just gives me such a great outline so I can see my color scheme, what time, what is it going to look like? Now, when you get here, um, and how do you upload, is there's a little button on the top that says add to grid with the plus sign. So it's very simple. You just hit that. And this screen will pop up and you can either upload from your computer desktop, from placeholder, Dropbox, Google Drive, there's many options. 
So you can upload your pictures here. And when you get to this point and you upload it, you want to you want to pick a picture. So click on any picture. And once you click on that picture, it's going to share the actual dashboard and and just share how you can input your your feed in there. So um, your description. So on here, this is a post uh, that Don McKee helped me do with a testimonial on blowout. And on the feed, it's going to share just the description. So I wrote a quick description and then it also gives you ability to hashtags, which I'm going to come right back to really quick. Uh, but you can pre schedule all of your hashtags. You can post uh, the time you want to post um, and you can post your location and also tag your friends. So going to the hashtags is what I love most about Planoly as it saves your grouping of hashtags. Hashtags give you the ability to look up. It's almost like the modern day version of encyclopedia. So let's say you clicked on uh, love my surface hair under Instagram. You're going to find thousands of pictures from all around the world of people that have also tagged love my surface hair. So going into a salon world, when you're tagging, we want to make sure to tag your city. Example. You can see on the right side below where it has that little location button. I always tag Omaha Old Market. Now I'm not a hairdresser, I'm not in a salon. However, I'm tagging that because I know Omaha Old Market is one of the busiest, if not busiest places in the city. So I know people are gonna see my surface posts. It's gonna create interest for surface salons. So for you guys, you should be tagging your city also tagging other local businesses around you. So if you have a hotspot or a business around you, why not tag them and ask them to tag you? That's a new way we can cross promote our marketing. Obviously tagging your salon name, you can tag surface hair, surface hair health, love my surface hair. But you can also tag things like organic, gluten-free, vegan, because people are looking at those hashtags. And again, it's like the modern day encyclopedia. So we wanna make sure that we're tagging. Tagging the location, going back to that, the little button at the bottom with the location is what's going to be, and you can type in your city, your zip code, or whatnot. And again, I just do Omaha Old Market. And then I always tag 10 of my friends. And I'm going to tag them inside the post because it goes back to what we shared with, with Heidi, is that we're looking to create critical mass. We're looking to spread the word quickly and to create engagement. So make sure to always tag your, your best guests. You guys know who your best guests are in your salon chair. So tag them and let them know that you're thinking about them by doing so. So going back to Planoly and my dashboard, again, just to recap, it gives you a great visual representation of what your social media can look like and the layout it can provide you. We have an awesome opportunity and thank you so much from the Planoly team. And you all are receiving a free month of Planoly for your um, first 30 days. And so when you go on, uh, you have until December 31st, your code is surface 2020. So make sure you take a screenshot, download an app on your phone and onto your desktop. So planoly.com utilizing the code you have until December 31st. You guys will be able to pre-plan your schedule for a year if you want to, and you have until the end of the year to do it. So thank you again, Planoly team, for giving us the opportunity uh, for all 600 of us on this call today. We really appreciate you guys. So planning ahead, how can you take those posts into profit like we talked about? Well, it's really taking the time. Now we've eliminated that because you can take two hours of your month, which I know we have, we all have two hours of time that we can utilize to turn those posts into profit. So right now we should be planning for December. If you don't have your post scheduled for December, that is your challenge and action plan from today. December 1st, we should be planning for January. And if you can get in that habit and cycle and block out on your books, just like an appointment, block out those two hours, you guys are going to be able to be very profitable coming into the new year. So when we started today, we talked about growing the plan and identifying your plan and utilizing the resources you have from surfacehair.com and connecting the dots with your assets like Planoly and Repost to help you connect them. 
If we haven't connected yet, I want to make sure you know where I'm at. My tag on Instagram and Facebook is L Curtis Surface. I would love to connect with you. And anything that you guys have or questions, please reach out to me. But with that, I'm going to bring up our panel members. And I'd love to introduce these three uh, fantastic ladies. You guys, we are, we are so um, honored and excited to have you guys. I want to bring up Miss Jamie Thompson. And Jamie is the owner of Hair by Jamie. Welcome, Jamie. Good to see hey, you thanks away. for having me. Yes, I'm going to bring up um, Miss Jessica Dominey. Jessica is the owner of Glam Box Artistry. And Jessica, thank you guys so much for being here. And Jamie and Jessica are both surface artists. And last but not least, we're going to bring up Miss Paula Negrete. And Paulina, you are the Senior Marketing Manager of Product Marketing for Planoly. And thank you so much. Give everybody a wave. Hi. All right, Jamie. So let's start with you. I have uh, my number one question for you is, what is your favorite social media platform and why? It's so hard to pick just one social media because I love all social media, but uh, for sure Instagram this year has been the most beneficial for me. But I have been finding myself a lot on TikTok lately, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. It's going to be so cool. Um, so, Jamie, how has your social media influenced retail sales? I honestly think it helps build, like, that trust with the clientele, either even my clients or people I don't even know. Like, this morning I shipped out uh, products awaken kids out to Texas and I searched and this person is not a guest of mine or anyone who's related and I found out that the purchase was through Instagram so that was that's huge. the trust on Instagram I think was the big thing that's huge that's huge and um, you know how do, how do you take time to plan how do you plan your promotions how do you use Instagram to do that to connect with your guests I pre-schedule as well, just like you were saying, uh, with Facebook and Instagram. Um, I've recently started doing the same thing with Pinterest and just pre-plan. I take a day and I honestly, like yesterday, I was able to schedule two weeks worth of um, posts in just watching a little bit of TV. <laughs> well, I'm sure everybody's wondering, well, like, how much time did that take you? So like when you were watching TV for two weeks of posting, I mean, what I think we all think, oh my gosh, that's going to take us 18 hours or that's going to be so much time. Um, honestly, it wasn't really that long, like an hour. But again, I have a lot of it was easy for me because I already know what promotions are coming up and stuff. So it was as soon as I sat down, I knew what I had to post. I just needed to put it all together. Awesome. And can you share any results that you've had during this or this time? Um, that may have come from this great planning. Yes, so I was actually looking up, um, along with the roadmap, I had my personal roadmap and my goal for 2020 was to sell more online retail than behind the chair. So I was just pulling up my numbers right before this. So this year, so far, behind the chair in salon sales in retail of surface sales has been $9,921 for behind the chair. And then in uh, my online retail store, which obviously 2020 was a big deal, um, I've sold $6,040 year to date on online. So I'm pretty close, but. That's huge. Air <laughs> yes. five, give me an air five. Yay. <laughs> That's awesome. So you've done almost $15,000 or more in retail sales by utilizing social media. I'm gonna give you a big whoop whoop. All right. Yes. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, Jessica, um, which by the way, Jessica, if you, if you guys, um, I know this is probably a first introduction, um, unless you've seen our surface um, Instagram, Jessica, you've been doing so much for us on Instagram and Jamie, you have as well. Um, but Jessica, your work is just absolutely beautiful. And um, if, you, if you guys are not following, Jessica does Sunday upstyling on our stories and so i just want to say thank you for that but you um are a social media master you have this like down to a t so what is your favorite social media platform and why 
Um, I'm going to definitely have to go with Instagram as well. Um, I am absolutely a visual person. And what I love about Instagram is that I can scroll through and I see things. And when it engages me, then I can go in and I can read the different captions. It's not all about just the caption. It's something visual that grabs my attention. And I think as hairstylists, a lot of us are like that. And I do love the connection that it's given me to other stylists all over the world. Um, I also feel that it helps, especially in a year like this, to kind of escape and go into the bubble because we get to choose what we're going to see. We follow the accounts that we want. We can have our personal or our business accounts, but we live in this bubble online. And we're, when we're feeling some sort of way about the world, we can go and escape. And it gives us lots of motivation and definitely helps us to stay focused on the things that really are important for us, I think. I agree with that. And I love what you just said about escape. It's like this portal that sucks you in, right? And, <laughs> oh, yeah. And we get attracted to you by like that shiny thing. And it's an art form. It's an art form of you know, the descriptions to what you said to the visual aspect of it and our eye draws to that. So I love that. So what changes have you personally made on your own social media feeds uh, since shutdown? So I've always tried to post with a purpose um, to really have a goal behind my post. Um, I definitely have, um, like Jamie mentioned, gotten a little bit more into TikTok this year as well. So I've sort of translated the fun energy of that into my Instagram, just trying to lighten the mood a little bit. I've definitely had a little more time on my hands as the world has completely changed as to how we operate. So I've spent a lot more time engaging with people and um, working with different brands and having the relationships, you know, it's right there at your fingertips where, you know, you can be noticed when before you weren't. So um, being able to work from home and just have a little bit more engagement with, you know, my followers and people that, you know, I look up to has definitely been something that I've focused a lot on um, trying to, I guess, just bring it home and keep me, again, more motivated. Well, I was looking at your Instagram and your stories and everything. Um, well, I've been looking at it for a long time, but I went back last night just to really study and man, you post some really good content and your <laughs> time and it's so great. And I want to know, and I'm sure everybody's wondering out there, if you guys are not following you, um, how do you get it all done? Because you're running a very successful business. These videos are so detailed. How do you make time to do all of this in your schedule? So I definitely plan and prioritize. I'm a little on the old school side to where I need things in front of me. So I actually have a big calendar, which I do use um, something to help me plan my posts, but I like to visually see it up on the wall. And I have a little mini Polaroid printer and everything's magnetic and I can move things around. It's definitely not as easy as being on the screen, but it's just something for me that just helps me. Um, and I definitely know that I cannot do it all. And I, I, I just have to pick and choose what matters the most to me and works within my life. And I am a single mom. Um, I became a seriously full-time mom and homeschooling mom when all of this stuff happened. So um, prioritizing the things that matter the most definitely, definitely helped um, with my clients. I utilize online booking for some of them. That helps me a lot. Um, I also, with all of this, I have different links that brides can book me. And this, like, so I've tried to really automate a lot of what I used to have to do myself. And I think that that is definitely key because we're, we are one person and social media is definitely a full-time job. I mean, it's like five apps within one. You have your feed, you have your story, you have the IGTV, now we have reels and we have the DMs. 
And that's just within Instagram. So I think definitely prioritizing and planning on what make you know what's most important is definitely going to help you to tackle more things. I agree with that. And um, I love what you said with your visual wall. I never thought to, to do that. And that's almost, um, I think, very user friendly for everybody listening um, because we are so visual and just easily just posting those. If it's a sticky note and you have this magnetic thing you're using, I think that's so important. I'm going to go back to Jamie really quick. Um, and Jamie, I'm going to ask you the same question is how do you do it all? You're a mom, <laughs> right? Um, and can you share any this last minute words before we go to Paulina on how you accomplish it all? Um, I am a post-it person, so I have all things on post-its and I have my like daily tasks that I know I need to do, but I also use um, it's Airtable is actually the name of it's Airtable.com. And so I have like a constant uh, personal to do list and then I have a business to do list and there's constantly things I can use it for my phone or for my computer anytime. And there's always things going in my brain that I'm like, oh, I need to get this down. And so then I can have everything put together. And when I have office time to actually sit down and put it together, I can just open it up and just go, all right, Clearly, this is all telling me I need to work on this thing at this point, and then that's how I'm able to prioritize because I'm also dealing with trying to juggle all the things in our personal life as well. Yes, so I think there's a common denominator between you and Jessica and everybody listening to is you've really organized your time and you've changed your mindset to keep up with the ever changing times and you've been adaptable. So hats off to you guys and Paulina. Uh, thank you so much for being here and, and representing Planoly. And again, you guys, Paulina is the Senior Manager of Product Marketing at Planoly. And Paulina, my first question for you is what type of content do you post on what platform? Because as you can see with these ladies, there are just so many different outlets. Yes, I totally get it. And it's super important to know where's your audience and what do you want to achieve across each of these platforms. So. For Instagram and Pinterest, the best is to just post like visual posts, beautiful pictures, graphics, amazing hairstyles or tutorials, content to really engage with your audience. If you are thinking about like LinkedIn or Facebook, those platforms are better for sharing like brand achievements, new product launches, uh, press releases. They are more like text heavy or serious content. And then now we have like Twitter, TikTok, and that also happens with Reels and Instagram, that they are both used like to have more like a humorous posts across uh, all these tools that these platforms offer. Yeah, so I was taking notes really fast, you guys, because uh, with, with Pinterest, I think it's something that in the hair industry, it's huge, but not, not a lot of people are aware of it, but the people that are utilizing it are extremely successful. And so Pinterest, like you said, it's those beautiful pictures. Um, and then LinkedIn and Facebook. What I see a lot is we put, we put things on Facebook that should be going on Instagram or Pinterest. And we put things on Pinterest that are too text heavy, like you said, that really should be going on Facebook. So um, my next question for you is when is the best time to post? It's the ever daunting question that we ask is, I don't know when to post or what time. Yes, and to be honest, there is not a magic formula to create engagement or there is nothing guarantee. So we have done a lot of research on what are like the best time to post. And Planoly offers a tool that will give you some posting times or some suggestions based on where you are. So this is amazing because you can take advantage of that to create your campaigns or to create your different posts and you'll know when you will find the best engagement. Um, for the holidays, we're like launching an infographic sharing the best time to post based on the data that we have analyzed. Uh, the answer changes across the time zone where you are in. But for example, if you are on CSD, the best times tend to be during the evenings from Sunday to Wednesday, during the mornings from Thursday to Friday, and from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. on Saturdays. But once again, the most important thing is to post quality content that will your, that your audience will engage with and that will create like 
an amazing number of likes, follow, comments, etc. Well, I love that. And I noticed uh, as I was being new to Planoly, I was like, why, is, why does this keep telling me to post at 7 p.m.? And now that makes sense. <laughs> so now I know that 7 p.m. is when me, Lindsay Curtis, should be posting because like you said, it's giving you suggestions on content uh, based on your own area. Um, my last question, Paulina, for you is from your research uh, from Planoly, what is the number one social media platform that you see behind the scenes people using? To be honest, it's super difficult to answer this question because all the social media platforms are unique and they offer so unique features and they tap into very different markets. What is important is knowing your audience and knowing where they are. And that's the way you choose like which is the best social platform for you. Even though for us at Planoly, the most important one is Instagram. Uh, it's our core because it allows you to visually tell our story and to tell more about like, hey, this is amazing for us. This is how you do it. These are the, tutor the tutorials that you must follow to use our products. So Instagram and Pinterest are platforms that really work very well for us. Yes, and they work very well in our industry specifically because I know Planoly is addressing all different businesses, um, but more and more hairdressers keep on joining. Last, lastly, Paulina, is there any um, other helpful hints that you want to share for us on the call today? Sure. If you go to planoly.com or if you download the app, you'll be able to learn more about the pricing packages that we have. To be honest, we have the ability to create like free accounts that will offer like 30 posts for Instagram or Pinterest. We also have super accessible packages that start from $7. Uh, I know that people are asking for that and that's why I'm mentioning it. And we also have an, an amazing uh, resources tool where you'll be able to find more about like we have an amazing blog post and you'll be able to learn more about how to create content for small businesses, how to start, how to get started with social media. We have Planoly Academy to learn how to use our tools, et cetera. So we have the resources there. The only thing is that you visit Planoly.com to learn more about them. Perfect. Well, thank you for addressing that because I see the chat box blowing up there, Paulina. So thank you for addressing the pricing. Check out Planoly.com. Um, Miss Jamie, if people want to find you on social media, what's your tag? What's your Instagram? You can find me on Instagram at hairbyjamie904. And Jessica, where can we find you? I'm on Instagram as well, and it's my name at Jessica Domini. So it's D O Money, is how it's spelled. Perfect. Well, ladies, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. It's been such a gift to the audience to have your knowledge on here to learn a little bit more about how we can make social media easy in a new world. So thank you guys so much. And it's a great honor that I bring back to the stage to talk about our organic surface, the CEO and founder of Surface, Wayne Grund.